Now, 31-year-old Devon Peterson from Mitchell's Plain in Cape Town has the darts world literally at his feet. After an illustrious amateur career, Africa's number one darts player is following a professional career overseas and his goal is to become world champion. Peterson is also very keen to get involved in development aspects of the game, with darts being a very accessible sport. Ladies and gentlemen, the South Africa Masters Champion, time to make the Spartans, Devon Peterson with his trademark African dancing theme. He won everything as an amateur. South African singles and doubles titles, a four-time winner of the SA Masters, and a successful time with the Proteus World Cup team. I've enjoyed an illustrious uh, amateur career, and now I move on to the, the professional circuit. I've been playing there for a few years. I'm moving forward. I'm, my highest ranking was 48 in the world. Um, and now I, I, I just hope that uh, my achievements will then obviously echo through Africa and, then, and, and, and inspire young people as well as the people that are currently playing. Peterson, who comes from a darts playing family, practices up to six hours a day, honing his technique, style of throw and point of release. Three times he has played the perfect nine dart game, 180 followed by 180 with a closing 141. For the next five years, I'm hoping to get to become a world champion as well as um, be ranked number one in the world. Um, I know it's a lot of people will see it as a dream, or, um, but I know that my, my skills and my capabilities, once they're all mixed with the confidence, I mean, I, I can achieve um, anything. There's lots of money in the sport overseas with an overall pool of 11 million pounds a season and players competing for up to 60,000 pounds an event. Peterson has made the last 16 of the World Championship and quarterfinals of the UK Open. But he's also passionate about growing the game at grassroots level in South Africa and Africa. In the development side of the sport, I mean, because darts is such an accessible sport, I mean, you can play it in a classroom and so on and so forth. So we're looking to introduce it to secondary schools and tertiary institutions. Lots of skill, dedication and practice and dreams might just come true. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.